Hey, what's up YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So this week I want to talk about the electric guitar. A beginner's guide to getting your new guitar. And now you've got it, you've been telling me you might be getting one for Christmas, you might be getting one for your birthday. What's with all the knobs and switches? You know, tell me how they work. So I'll give you a brief beginner's guide, okay? This, I'll show you two. I've got my, my Gibson SG down here and this is my Fender Stratocaster. Now, they're both very different electric guitars, so I'll go through this one first. As you can see here, I've got like three lines here with dots on, okay? And these things are what we call the pickups because normally on the acoustic guitar, you've got a sound hole, it's a hollow body, right? So when you hit the strings, it reverberates and you hear the sound. But with this, we just have a solid body and we have these what we call pickups. So there's two types of pickups in general and the ones I have here are what we call a single coil, all right? So you hear people saying about single coils and humbuckers. These are the single coils. They're single, they're by themselves and inside it's kind of like a magnet with wire coiled around it, okay? They're like kind of miniature microphones if you if you like they're like electromagnetic microphones and they just pick up the sound of the strings and that gets transferred you know you've got a little volume here and stuff that gets transferred into your amplifier and made loud okay super loud and you can add you know effects pedals in and, and all sorts of crazy fun all right so what do they do well you know, we've got here, we've got a volume and two tones and a selector switch, okay? A blade type selector switch. And each one has like five different settings. So when it's all the way down, pointed down here towards the bridge of the guitar, that's what we call the bridge setting, okay? And it's next to the bridge pickup. So this is the bridge pickup, okay? This is the bridge, it's actually a tremolo and it picks up this one. So if we just turn it up. Now you get a kind of like a sharp tone, okay? And we can adjust that with the tone. Now, depending on your configuration, uh, different strats have different configurations for the tone settings. On this guitar, my bottom tone, See when it's all the way down, it's quite a dark muffled sound, all the way up, it's a really light trebly sound, okay? And the volume, okay, tone. Now if I push it back, the switch back one, so that's position two, now we've got the bridge pickup and the middle pickup. Okay. Now I'm still utilizing this high tone here. They might differ on yours, okay. So you can kind of get a mixture of these two tones now, okay. If I push it again, it's the middle pickup by itself, okay. If I go back to the second position, first position, second position, middle, now we'll push it up to the fourth position, now we've got the middle one and the neck pickup, because it's next to the neck, okay? So, now my other tone kicks in. So I'm using my other tone now for these top two pickups. So, turn it up. Okay, so you get a, like a warmer sound as you get closer towards the neck, you get a warmer sound. So I'm gonna go to my fifth position now. So it's just this uh, neck pickup, okay? Again, I can adjust the tone for it there. So you 
can really hear it gives you totally different sounds. Neck pickup, neck and middle, middle, uh, middle and bridge, and bridge. So five different uh, tones or sounds to mess around with and plus you can adjust your tone settings to each one. Okay, so that's the Fender. Now, you probably noticed as well, I've got this trem system here with a, a whammy bar or tremolo bar, whatever you want to call it. And tremolo just means it's actually sat, so the bridge is sat on springs. Okay, and you can see them behind. I've got the plate off the back there. Okay, and what all that does is if I push it down, it makes the strings slacken. I let it go, they go back to normal, then pull it up gently. You can hear them go high. Okay, so you kind of get the idea, all right? So not all guitars have these. This is the tremolo system. And, you know, they're really common for Fenders and Ibanez guitars. And I've got a Jackson with one as well. Okay, so that's the Fender. Let's switch over to the Gibson. So this is the SG, which stands for Solid Guitar. This is maybe like a 2000 model or something. And it's called a Solid Guitar because it's no bolt-on neck. It all comes like on the Fender. I didn't show you, but um, you have like a base plate here that bolts the neck on. This one is just all one piece of wood, okay? Hence Solid Guitar. All right, we have slightly different, obviously it's different shape, different cutaways. Uh, we have a bridge here instead of a tremolo, so no whammy arm on there. And we've got three different selectors with four different knobs. I'll explain those in a second. But more importantly, we've got this much fatter sound, which is down to these humbuckers. So this, how you have to think of it is inside here, it's kind of like two single coils put together. So sometimes the single coils give you hum all right especially the like the older guitars you, you like get hum from the electricity in the walls or whatever so what happens with a signal if you double it normally it it cancels out the the bad frequencies okay so um what they've done here they've put two hum uh, two single coils next to each other and it destroys the the hum or it bucks the hum it's like an american term i guess and that's where they got their name, humbuckers, all right? And humbuckers are, are just known for their, their big fat sound, you know? Uh, kind of used in rock and roll and stuff like that. And mainly, I mean, you can, you can play... You can play whatever you want on it, okay? But that's generally, you know, especially the SD, SG, you recognize it from kind of ACDC that kind of thing, okay? And the pickup selector here, um, sometimes on the Les Pauls, you see them up here. Uh, the Les Pauls are like the single cutaway Gibson. And I actually prefer the, the SG because it's kind of... I can, I can get to everything. It just, you know, that works for me having the selector there. So when it's down, um, it used to have a bit of writing on there that said treble and it's the treble setting and it basically means this pickup here next to the bridge okay it's a solid bridge and the the knob down here is the volume for it okay and the one behind it is the tone okay if you push the selector right to the top, pointing to the top, it should say like rhythm on there, it's worn out. So the first volume, now we're on this pickup, right? The neck pickup and the tone. Okay, a bit scratchy, hasn't been used for a while. 
and then in the middle we get both pickups. So pointed down, bridge pickup. In the middle, bridge and neck pickup, push to the top, neck pickup, okay? And generally, you know, you might play, I don't know, when the selector's pointed up. You might play a rhythm section. And then when you want to do a bit of solo in. Personally, I kind of like the rhythm setting when I'm playing at the, the high end of the neck. so on you get the idea right so that's a brief introduction to the electric guitar and plug it in find whatever amp setting you've got I mean down here you can't see I've got an array of, of effects and stuff like that delays um, you know I've got reverb so it sounds All that kind of stuff so I'll cover that in another lesson so guys good luck in your new guitar journey with your electric guitar let me know how you get on show me what guitars you got show me what riffs you're learning I'll look forward to hearing from you I'll see you again the same time next week guys enjoy mm -hmm.